Okay, if you're done with that, you can go ahead and save that if you want. If not, let's go ahead and hit Control X and uh, erase all. And we're going to actually build a sword. So you want to hit delete and get the square off your uh, screen. And we're going to start by pulling out a circle on the stage with eight vertices. And then we're going to change that circle and extrude it into a blade. Okay, this is how we're going to start real quick. Let me come around and make sure everyone's uh, all set up. All right, it's going to get a little funner now. We're going to actually build a sword, build something we're going to slice someone's head off with. And uh, it will be pretty cool. We're going to build a little Roman sword. Okay, you know how they're kind of short and stubby. And so the first thing you want to do is hit that space bar. That's your secret bar, right? And uh, you should be clicked on the middle of the scene, screen select to have your viewport select to hit the S, hit the space bar. And then you should come along here and be able to add a circle. And we can change the number of vertices, and we want to do that. See how it says 32 vertices? Just kind of double click here and change it to 8. And hit OK. And when you do, you should have a circle somewhere on the screen. We're going to kind of move it to the center if you're not on the center already. So does everyone have that on their screen right now? Can you just type in 8? Yes. Yes. You want to double click? You, you, could, you could inch it one by one, but you want to go fast. So you want to double click on it and type in 8. Now you're going to be amazed at how easy this is actually to do. I promise you. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the A, uh, excuse me, the um, tab key to go into edit mode. And we're going to start working with these vertices. Go ahead and hit the A key to get off the edit mode. And you can see all, here's all your vertices. You want to stretch those around. So I'm going to right click on this vertice right here, and I'm just going to stretch it out. And you have these grids, so follow your grids. And I'm going to just basically stretch out the other vertice. See, they both stretched them out about, I think, three or four grids. All right. That's looking more like a blade, isn't it? I want you to right click on the top vertice and just push that in a little bit. And right click on the bottom vertice and we'll push that in a little bit. And you should have something that looks like what I have on the screen. Okay, one thing we want to be aware of is basically what axis, you know, which way we're going. We're, we're, the y axis is this way. We're actually going to extrude in the z axis because what color is z? It's blue, right? RGB, XYZ. So we're in the z axis. Just be aware of that. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of use my right middle bus button and kind of rotate that up so I'm in the z-axis so I can see what's going to happen here, kind of get some perspective on what's on, what I'm doing. <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to extrude everything up. Okay. So what I want to do is select all those vertices and extrude them up. So I'm going. So extrude doesn't just work for surfaces or polygons; it also works for edges. And so I'm going to come along here and I'm going to hit the A key to get off everything. I'm going to hit my B key. What I'm going to do with that? To select everything. So I'm going to go around and select the whole thing. I could, have, I could have hit the A key to select everything. I should have done that. But at this point, I want to go over here and I'm going to open this up so I can see it. And I can see I'm now I have my record screen in the way. Let me move that real quick. There's my vertices. I'm going to select edges. You see that right there? This is vertices, the little dots. Edges is the lines. And guess what key I'm going to hit? Anybody got an idea? Yes. E, exactly. So you hit the E key, and you can be extruding that up. Now, no, it's going in every direction. I don't want to go in every direction. What direction do I want to go in? The Z direction, remember? So what key do I hit? I hit the Z key, and now I'm extruding in the Z direction. You see that? So I'm going to let go of that. I'm going to hit my uh, roll my middle mouse button back so I can uh, see what I'm doing. And now I don't have to extrude anymore. It's been extruded. I can just hit that, uh, just grab, pull it as far as I want to go up. So you need to be aware of what axis you're in. We're in the z-axis here. And I've extruded my blade in the z-axis. If you ro roll around that, hey, that's not a bad looking blade, is it? That's pretty cool. It's kind of like Conad the Barbarian. I'm going to walk around and make sure everyone's up to speed where I'm at. OK, so you've made the first part of your blade. We're going to actually put a little bit of tip on that blade. So I'm going to kind of reposition this a little bit so I can see it. There it is. I'm going to just uh, basically. Now, remember, shift, middle key is the pan key, so I can pan around with that. 
And so what I'm going to do now is make a little bit of an edge on this thing. So I'm going to hit the E key to extrude. I'm going to bring that up. And well, I'm not in the Z axis, so I hit the Z key. That keeps me in the Z axis. And what I'm going to do here is hit the uh, S key to bring that out a little bit. See that? I'm going to hit the E key again to extrude up. Once again, I'll hit the Z key to stay in the Z axis. And what I want to do is bring all that to a point, so I hit the S key to shrink it down to a point. Now, once again, I don't have a point there. I have like maybe eight vertices, so I want to shrink that down to one vertice. So the way I do that is hit the W key, and I hit the merge key, and I merge it all together. Just hitting enter, and there's my sword with a little bit of a tip on it. There you go, ready to slice away. So I've made the first part of the sword. The next part of the sword is I want to make the handle, right? So I'm going to walk around, make sure we're all at this point, <laughs> and then we'll build the handle. Okay, looks like you all have a sword now, kind of, at least a blade, and we want to make the handle right now. Now, you could spend your lifetime going in here and adjusting vertices and making things look better and better and better, and that's exactly what people do. It's vertice by vertice in some instances. And a lot of these polygon figures can have as many as 30,000, 100,000 vertices, okay? So we're not going to go for that. Of course, that would never work in paper vision. So we want to go for these low polygon models. I'm going to make the handle now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rotate this thing a little bit to the side. And I'm going to make a handle. There you go, somewhere on the end here. See, it's going to match up, try to match it up with that, with that sword right there. See how I got rotated to the side there? And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring out a sphere. So I'll let you guys catch up right there, and we'll go to the sphere in a moment. Okay, so what I want you to do at this point, I, I want you to uh, hit your space bar and bring out a cube, a, a sphere, excuse me. Right, 32 is a little big, so we're going to change it to 16. So change those sides to 16, or those uh, segments to 16. We'll stick with 8 for the other one. Hit OK. Absolutely. And you can actually move this around and kind of line it up. It's too small because it's going to be the handle, so I want to make it bigger, so I'm going to hit my what key? My S key, going to stretch it out a little bit. Good, that's looking good. And then I'm going to arc rotate around to see if it's in the right position, and it's not. Well, it's, it's getting close. I'm close there. So I'm just going to leave that there and actually do a little bit of work on this handle right here. Okay, to get this right. And let me zip in there and get that, take a look at that ball right there. Now, believe it or not, uh, it's not where I want it to be, but I'm going to go ahead and make the can handle, and I'm going to rotate the handle into place, all right? So you should have a UV sphere out on the stage. Do you guys have that? Yes. Yes. No UV sphere yet, Lois? Okay, I have one now. Okay. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, pretty much just interested in this sphere right now. I'm going to make this handle, and then I'm going to rotate everything in the place where it's supposed to go. I'm going to hit my R key just to kind of get this where I want it. And you should be working with this UV sphere right now. I'm going to move it out of the way so I don't some, somehow select a vertice on the blade in it as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit the, T, the tab key to get into edit mode. I think I was. I want to be on vertices right now. So see how I'm on lines? I'm going to go to edges. I want to go to vertices. And when you do that, you see all your vertices should light up. Did that happen? Going to middle roll that mouse in just to get a little closer to that uh, UV sphere so I can see it. Going to hit the A key to deselect and the B key to select. And I'm going to select the first two rows, just like that. And I'm going to walk around and make sure you guys are where I'm at. Uh, so at this point, we're going to build our handle, and what we want to do is hit the delete key. You want to get rid of those vertices. And when you do, you can actually rotate this around if you want to. You see it's kind of empty. See that? you got a hole. And that's what you want, because that's the bottom of, the, uh, bottom of it. What I want you to do now is hit the B key and select those vertices right there. Okay? And what we're going to do right now, we're going to extrude those, hit the E key and extrude those out. And let's see here. So I had to get, I, I hit Y to make sure I was extruding along the axis. And so once I do that, I'm going to click and I'm going to put the S key and bring a little bit of height on that. You see? 
and then I'm going to click again and hit the E key and extrude that out again. Hit the uh, Y key along the axis, and I'm hit the S key and then bring that. Excuse me. Control Z. Let's try that again. E key. Hit the Y key. And click, and then hit the S key to bring that down a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to get out of edit mode. 